Welcome back! Again, another Pokemon video. Probably will make an actual introduction sometime soon, but till then, this is gonna be it. So, last video I talked about my wonderful boys, Mewtwo and Mew. Talked about, you know, well, just lot, watch last video if you can. Um, I can't believe I forgot one of my cards. Uh, Japanese, and remember I made that whole spiel about Watsi and all that kind of crap, but a, a Mewtwo star, I can, could not afford any of the English Mewtwo stars, so I went with a Japanese, not the best quality, obviously around the edges, and that's obviously why it's in this Ultra Pro, um, but I just had to have a Mew star, and I think white outline uh, for the Mew star instead of the yellow outline for the English. I think it just looks so much better, but that is my personal opinion. But anyway, um, so I can't believe I didn't mention that, but that's not what, who we're talking about today. We are talking today about this wonderful boy right here, a Pikachu. And I'll just get right into it. So, the <laughs> first card is going to be uh, Blank's Pikachu, or better known as Birthday Pikachu. And this one, as you, as you can see, you can see a wonderful swirl right there. I know there's avid swirl collectors, and I was once a swirl collector, but I just think in a market that uh, was a very, uh, very bearish, I don't think a lot of people are going to care about swirls. I think a lot of people are going to care about this. And gonna care about this and probably this too but not gonna care much about swirls but anyway birthday Pikachu I bought two get out my other one I bought two of these directly from eBay because I could not I did not even want to spend the time to find one on eBay and then send it in and like oh but we'll hold and behold or will and behold it got a freaking five because someone already went through all, all their copies and uh, picked out the best one to send it in anyway. So I took I took advantage of the bearish market and I bought two of them for around, uh, what was it, like $230 each, something like that. So, and yeah, so I got two of them. And I think as celebrations dies down, I think a lot of people didn't even know about it, from all the hype and everything, I think a lot of people didn't even know about Birthday Pikachu until Celebrations came around, and that really opened a lot of people's eyes to it. So I, that's why I think a lot of the Celebrations cards are going to go through a process of people realizing, like, oh, wow, I want, like, the OGs instead of just the Celebrations cards. I, I want, want nostalgia and go, go back into uh, the original cards and such, and that's why I spent that much money on, on on two of those cards uh and and because they're they're just super cool looking next card up this is a card that came out in 2020 and you'll probably know from one of the very few english pikachu promos it is the special delivery pikachu as you can see i submitted a bunch of these and i got kind of burned on some of them i mean if you don't know the background information of these if you bought, I think it was $20 or more on the Pokemon Center in, I think it was November or October of last year in 2020, uh, the Pokemon Center would put this promo inside your box. And it was just literally loosed, loosely placed in the box and it got banged around and all that kind of stuff. I took well advantage of it and i i believe i ordered six packages all like twenty dollars each i sold one of these mistakenly um but i got them all in sleeved them all up sent them all out to the cgc and i got two nines i got two nines and that's all i could get uh from obviously the edges edges i mean all these i think just got the edges eight eight five I mean, all these just got hammered on the subgrades, mainly due to the fact because they were just placed in. Um, there was huge hype around the special delivery Charizard that was supposed to come out, uh, but <laughs> hence has, hasn't. I know some people have gotten their hands on them, but probably illegally. Uh, as you saw some articles online and such, 
about people selling the special delivery of Charizard for an enormous amount of price. And then the special delivery of Bidoof that came out, that was Bidoof on a Charizard that also is, is selling for a bunch, but it was a little bit different. Instead of just spending $20, you had to actually sign up and the Pokemon Center Online would get those numbers and then they will they would ship your special delivery of Bidoof. I sadly was not able to get myself a special delivery of Bidoof because the Pokemon Center email got sent directly to my spam box and hence I don't have any special delivery of Bidoofs. Next card up actually comes directly out of the Coco movie box and hence hasn't been released in English. I think eventually they will, will release it in, in uh, English, mainly due to the fact that the Coco movie that released in 2020 of last year for Japan just released uh, on Netflix, actually. So if you have a Netflix account, go check it out. It's a wonderful me movie. Me and my wife watched it. Uh, she she cried. I kind of teared up, but it, it was it, it was a very good movie. Uh, but this came directly out of that box. It is the gobbled up Pikachu or swallowed up Pikachu for the English translation, and it is a scene in the movie where Pikachu goes flying in the air, and a Cramoran just snags him right in the mouth, and it captured and it's captured right in this card. I think it's hilarious. Uh, not very not a few times you see Pikachu actually sad. Um, so I think this is a hilarious card and hopefully it'll make it to English, um, but if it doesn't, you know, PC, personal collection, and, you know, it'd be cool if it was a, you know, Japanese exclusives, those are fading really fast nowadays, especially for, like, the Marnie promo that got translated to English, obviously the Espeon VMAX, that alternate art that a lot of people thought wasn't coming to English came from English, but... This card hopefully comes to English for all the people who weren't able to buy that. You know, like now it's like three, four hundred dollar box. Um, I had two of them. Uh, one of them went into a trade that, again, from last video, I told you I bought two of those in a trade, and that was one of the items that I traded. Um, f uh, interesting enough, if you see these online, so that's that's walled up Pikachu. Uh, if you see, uh, you got it. Oh, sorry for that. Um, see these online, I'm ruining my display. They will have two different labels on them, one being green, one being red. These actually retailed, believe it or not, 39.50 yen is actually about um, it's about $35. Was this box that's now retailing for like, you know, $400. But anyway, it has this all the way around has a Pokémon card game. But anyway, going back to <laughs> what I'm talking about, um, if you see red, that was the uh, adult ticket for the movie because how they sold pre-sold tickets for the movie is that they sold them in these boxes and you get the swallowed up Pikachu um, and the red one was for adult uh, admission and then a green one is what you'll likely see online that's for kids now that I've not destroyed my setup I will go into the next card which you would have seen a lot in oh man I moved my camera there we go. That you would have seen a lot in 2020, and that is the Kanazawa Pikachu. This one came out in Kanazawa, Japan, you guessed it, and it came out in the Pokemon Center that has Milotic in it. Uh, each Pokemon Center has a special mascot, so to say. Um, the my favorite one is Shibuya that are coming up soon because it has the Mewtwo in it. This didn't come inside that box. This came like a special reverse card in it. Uh, but this guy actually was given out. Uh, if you went to the, I think any Pokemon Center uh, during this time, you would have gotten this Kanazawa Pikachu. And I got a hold, when I heard about this promotion and such, and I heard about... Um, from past experience of Shibuya Pikachu, which I'll show you in a, in a few, um, I was like, okay, I gotta jump on this. So, I bought a lot of them. Um, and surprisingly, you know, Japanese cars are always super safe because they grade really easily uh, in relative terms. There are some cases that I've gotten just trashed on. Tag Team All-Stars pulled like a Jirachi, uh, Rainbow Rare that was like a 9, and sometimes you get that, but most of the times you're pretty safe with a 9.5 with a of the Japanese cards, and I got just a lot of them, I, and I'm, right now, a lot of people are, are having these uh, for sale, uh, and I'm kind of saving them uh, right now 
for future for the future because it doesn't you know I didn't spend a whole bunch I probably spent like thirty dollars on each card and then spent like seven bucks uh, getting them graded so I didn't uh, there's not a whole lot of capital uh, involved in this but right now these are going for around hundred twenty dollars each uh, but I think how Shibuya Pikachu happened or how it's performing I think it'll go up in the future uh, but thankfully thankfully with these Kanazawa Pikachus, I was able to grade two pristine 10 Kanazawa Pikachus. Sadly, they weren't perfect Pikachus, but hey, I'll take pristine 10 any day of the week. I mean, I was super stoked. I've heard people submitting over like 400 like Japanese cards, and I'm getting one pristine 10, but I was in the same submission, was able to get two pristine 10s. It was just a really good print run, I guess, uh, that the person from uh, eBay, and I bought this all through eBay, person uh, that sent me um got two really nice ones. So I was able to snag two of them, definitely not for sale. Pristine 10s, I think right now, are underrated. Uh, and I will be saving those. If I sell all these 9.5s, that's fine. I will keep the 10s uh, because there is a strict population with those in CGC. And then I hinted at it earlier, but the Shibuya Pikachu. I had multiple of these. Same time I was buying the Kanazawa Pikachu, I was trying to buy these as well. Uh, they were around like $30, but now they spiked up. But I was able to nab myself a 9.5. And it is... <sighs> relatively challenging uh, to get a 9.5 especially like grading it because these came out in 2019 a lot of people already submitted them to PSA and all these extras were in someone's drawer jumping around whatever have you uh, and I was able to grab one and grade it at 9.5 um, as you can see it has a Mewtwo as the uh, as the mascot because uh, this is from Shibuya Pikachu and their young people are very into graffiti. This graffiti style, I just absolutely love. A Pikachu just holding, holding the spray paint, spray can, and just going to town. They had a lot of different merchandise from hats to skateboards to plushes to everything of all this graffiti. Uh, type of style and I just I just loved every every one of them. Uh, but I went on in into the Shibuya Pikachu picked up about four of them. I've sold all those except the highest one I got, which was a 9.5. We're coming down to the last two, and I gotta show off. You've seen this before. Chunka Pikachu. I personally could not pull this card. I opened oh man, close to a hundred or something of, of vivid voltage. And those that know the pull rates of the Chunkachu know that it's over a thousand packs that you need to pull. I think it's a thousand and seventy-two. They need to pull on average to get the big rainbow Pikachu. I had to get this card. I bought it from someone who already had it graded. This is just wonderful. Nine fives across the board. And it, you know, as you could tell online, the Rainbow VMAX Pikachu have gone down tremendously in price and I was able I was able to nab this at the time that I was looking for it it was raw going for like $300 I was able to nab this whole thing for $300 um, it's crazy how prices have decreased and hype and people are trying to get money for celebrations and crap so I was able to nab me one of those and the last card that I will be talking about and showing off is the Championship Series 2020 Trophy card. This one specifically has Pikachu and Grookey. And those who know me, I love monkey Pokemons and especially Grookey. And so I had to get this guy. Um, I bought this card specifically from Japan, from Japan, as in the website from Japan. And I got it back, I sent it in, and sadly it got a 9, which I talked to you that English normally gets a 9, uh, but Japanese, if you get a 9, it's kind of a bad day. But it's a trophy card, not much matters about the uh, grade and such of it, but it matters that it is slabbed and it's a trophy card and not totally trashed. So uh, it's going to my personal collection and... I just love this card and the illustration. Nothing shiny about it or anything, but I, oh man, Pikachu and Grookey just holding that trophy and I, I just love it. So go in my personal collection. And that will wrap it up. That showing off all my Pikachu, obviously, oh man, I didn't even show off the, uh, I'll show them off right now. 
Okay, so Poncho Pikachu's. I got these two as I've shown in previous videos. I got these two in a trade, both PSA 10s, very few PSA cards graded that I actually have. But this one came out in 2016 when they were doing the, a lot of the Poncho Pikachu type deal. They did obviously in Mario, uh, they did Magikarp and Gyarados, Poncho Pikachu. They did a lot of these uh, Pikachu promos and people just love them. And they aren't doing them anymore, surprisingly. But this, as you can tell, is the Rayquaza and then Shining Rayquaza. And they are wonderful. I traded a Ultra Premium Collection plus a Grand to get these two. And I couldn't be happier. That'll wrap up this video. And next time, I'll probably talk to you about some other cards that I admire or, or something. I'll probably open something up. I don't know. I don't know how to do this pokemon channel stuff but anyway um hope you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you in the next one peace